welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I will be painting a 1 35th scale SS tanker. So, to start off, I am going to use Vallejo Basalt Gray. And I know most people use uh, German Gray, which is much darker. But I prefer to use Basalt Gray because once you add a wash and dry brushing and everything, it turns out to be slightly lighter than German Gray, which is pretty much a warm German gray uniform because fresh out of the factory it's going to be like the gray color that everyone else uses but once you wear it it gets uh, wrinkled and everything and snagged and everything it's going to get lighter and faded and everything so that's that's the main reason why I use basalt gray rather than the darker panzer gray so starting off just going to get a good coat over the entire thing sure I get everything covered in this gray base color and in case you're wondering I did paint the hands and the face I might eventually have a tutorial on that it's not very it's not anything very special it's just oil paints and then Vallejo base so again just starting off base coat and I'll come back when it's done
So once we're done with the base layer, we're going to move on to the head, and I actually started the head previously with uh, Vallejo Field Gray as a base color, and then I uh, realized that if I'm going to do their pants the same color, the Field Gray, I wanted the hats to be a slightly different color because Field Gray came in many different variations, so I decided to add refractive green, Vallejo refractive green on top of that, and that's just going to basically change the color of it's not gonna make it a different color, it's just gonna brighten it and make it more of a green instead of a gray.
I did not film this, but I took uh, cold white again and just been a little outline on the edge just to add a little more detail and accuracy. And then that basically concludes everything to, that I did with these figures. Now these are not, I could probably do it better, but for three days of work, I'm very happy with it. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll leave you with some finished pictures of the crew. If you're interested and have any questions in anything I did here, just leave it in the comments and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.